Let's take a look at 2022's Best Korean Movies. Number 10. The Witch 2. The Other One. This highly anticipated sequel to 2018's The Witch, Subversion, follows a new young girl who's an experimental test subject in a secret lab. After she survives an accident that leaves the lab in ruins, siblings Kyung Hee and Dae Gil shelter her and offer a normal life, while several people search for her, including mercenary Jo Hyon. This film will suck you into the story and won't let you go. The opening scene was magnificent. The film felt more violent and bloodier than part one but it was still not too over the top. The fight scenes were nice to watch and very well choreographed. However, the whole plot of the film felt simple. For two hours, you were basically watching two groups of supernatural humans chase one godlike girl that took all of them down within 15 minutes. Overall, it was a nice watch and I do recommend to watch it. Number 9. Soul Vibe. This action-packed film takes place in 1988, on the day of the Seoul Summer Olympics opening ceremony. In the middle of the festivities, the Sangai Dong Supreme Team are investigating the movement of illegal slush funds. It is indeed impressive how the setting of the movie took us back to 1988 in a beautiful way to portray the modernity in Seoul, the capital of South Korea. It is a mixture of political events unfolding in speedy action rhythm, with not much car races but races with a lot of purpose, blended with comedy. There is no other creative way to display it beautifully more than this. Korean cinema has shown well that it can make any story beautifully. This movie recounts politics or social events without bothering the viewer. The actors have handled the roles well and have chosen and performed them correctly. Number 8. Special Delivery. Park So Dam stars in this fast and furious style action film as a Busan junkyard worker who works nights as an elite courier for fugitives. When her passenger for her latest job is captured and she's left with his son, Eun Ha has to take care of the kid and the million dollar access code he's holding, all while outrunning the cops. Action packed with some comedy. The main plot is predictable and it's been visited countless of times. However, anyone watching this is not here for an original story. Special Delivery gives you a very intense action movie with believable storyline and great performances from the actors. Number 7. Love and Leashes. Two idol actors star in this rom-com about two co-workers pursuing a BDSM partnership. Ji Woo is forming a crush on new colleague Ji Hu when she accidentally receives his package, containing a human-sized dog collar. Instead of freaking out, she becomes interested in bonding, and Ji Hu asks her to enter a dominant relationship. This is a film about understanding and respecting your partner, as well as withholding judgment of others. A generally playful tone, good acting, and interesting characters are all pluses here. Although towards the end it started to feel a little rushed and the quality of the humor started to decline as well. But other than that this was still a rather entertaining movie. Number 6. Decision to Leave. Returning with his first Korean film since 2016's The Handmaiden, Park Chan-wook directs this story about a police officer investigating a crime that took place in the mountains. When he meets the victim's wife, played by Tang Wei, the officer develops mixed emotions of both suspicion and interest. Decision to leave, is one hell of a ride, like a puzzle with elements of melodrama and violence, lots of humor to not get too in your face, essential for a dark slow burn movie that's trying to create something interesting and innovative. This is a different type of a critique movie, it's more personal and not trying to be like, Parasite, this is more introverted and it's a beautiful love story given all the craziness, it's more a textbook movie than one which is open to reviews and interpretations. Number 5. Emergency Declaration. In this star-studded disaster thriller, authorities investigating a viral terrorist threat discover that the suspect has boarded an international flight to the US. When a healthy passenger dies of a sudden disease on board, the flight crew and people on the ground come together to save the rest of the passengers. This is a non-stop action-packed film with excellent acting by the entire cast. The tension mounts with each passing minute as the authorities race against time to find the source of the deadly virus before it claims any more victims. The special effects are top-notch, and the film's ending is sure to leave audiences breathless. Emergency Declaration is a well-crafted, edge-of-your-seat thriller that is sure to keep audiences entertained from beginning to end. It is a must-see for fans of the genre. Number 4. Alienoid. 
This genre-bending film from director Choi Dong-hoon shows a war between aliens and humans taking place in both historical and present-day Korea. When a mysterious time portal opens, the lives of Goryeo-era Taoists searching for a legendary sword collide with fighters from 2022 chasing an alien imprisoned in a human's body. Alienoid is the first part of a chaotic, creative and entertaining South Korean science fiction duology that offers an extraordinary roller coaster ride for about two and a half hours. This movie has a little bit of everything. It's got humor, a touch of romance, martial arts, aliens with lasers, time travel. Director Choi Dong-hoon is great at making his imaginations that other people think of come true, and that's really cool. While watching please focus on the details then you will be amazed by the storytelling. The more you watch, the more fun it will be. Number 3. Hunt. Squid Game star Lee Jung-jae makes his directorial debut and stars in this 1980s set spy thriller. As an elite South Korean agent hunts for a North Korea spy, he becomes increasingly aware of his own country's dark truths. This action-packed film of non-stop double-crossing was amazingly the work of a first-time feature film director. The film is about men in well-tailored suits who must constantly determine if the armed fellow next to them is on their side or possibly fighting for the enemy. While some of the action sequences are well staged, particularly the final explosive one, action scenes are more than well shot and the twists will keep you guessing from start to finish. Despite some confusing storytelling in the beginning, it's impossible to not be entertained and be engrossed by this movie. This movie goes down as one of this year's greatest films and remains entertaining even after multiple viewings. Number 2. The Roundup. This sequel to 2017's action hit the outlaws sees Ma Dong Sok, aka Don Lee, return as Beast Cop, Ma Sok Do. Four years after the events of the outlaws, Detective Ma and Captain Jeon Ilman are sent to Vietnam on a covert operation to take down Kong a sadistic man who kidnaps rich Korean travelers for ransom. Excellent acting, witty writing and precisely choreographed action sequences really brought it in this Korean cop action film. Apparently it's a sequel, but honestly you would never know it. The film holds its own quite well. I highly recommend this one for fans of Korean films, or action films in general. Number 1. Broker. Boxes are left out for people to anonymously drop off their unwanted babies. Broker is an affecting art house social drama and features solid performances from its ensemble, led by Parasite song Kong Ho. Broker notes how difficult to rediscover the ability to trust, love and accept forgiveness, when our lives are filled with disappointments, anger, rejection, abandonment and being loneliness. Everyone in this movie has their own story to tell. Even the side characters got their humane feelings. The film is very beautifully shot and edited, and the cinematography is, as always with Korea, very impressive. It's another masterpiece work from beloved director showing family is not always by blood bond, rather it can be family by choice with different situation bringing different consequences. Everyone has to give it a watch so all can have their own different feelings of the story. If you enjoyed this video and would like more similar content be sure to like and subscribe. If you have video requests, please let me know by commenting down below. Thank you to everyone that watched till the end and I'll see you guys in the next one.